it's the best we've played uh, this year. Um, you know, it was a really good offensive team that we guarded extremely well. Um, I thought we played shots well. I think once we went small, we were able to guard them a little bit better. Um, and uh, we did a really good job on Burke and uh, Elmore, terrific players. I thought Sticks and Bruno, you know, were terrific around the rim, making them all for shots. It's the best Sticks has been around the rim, and then Bruno just tried to get every rebound uh, out there defensively. So it's good we shared the ball. Anthony took it to another level, uh, which I've been bragging about Anthony, but he took it to another level there from about the six minute mark of the first half, about the 12 minute mark of the second half. He was, he, he was terrific. So, but when you make shots, it looks, everything looks better. Uh, but I was proud of our defense and, and, and our rebounding. And then just to stay focused, you know, up 30, up 35, to stay focused was it's a good sign for me. Questions? Patrick? All right. I just wanted to ask a, a bit about Anthony and, and how he kind of controlled the game, not just with the drives, but his work at the defensive end as well. What, what did you see kind of going into, into both of those things and, and just kind of the control that he was able to play under for the most part? Well, you know, uh, because of where we are with our team, Anthony's always going to have to guard a, a really good player uh, every night. He takes on a challenge. And you worry about whether it's going to affect his offense. Well, tonight it didn't. Um, he's in great shape. Um, but, uh, yeah, he dictated. He dictated. I thought he did a good job on Elmore. Uh, he's a terrific player. Um, and then offensively, he was just he was terrific. Once we figured out their downing, keeping us on the side, um, we got, you know, and we started to do even though we had 53 at half, I thought we were much better in the second half at, at, at recognizing their defense and attacking it the right way. So, uh, But Anthony was terrific. I've been bragging about him. I probably bragged about him too much to start the year, but you can see he's just a whole, he's a completely different player than he was last year. And uh, he's making everybody around him better, too. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Uh, Eric asked me if I trusted him to make plays. I said, well, you're in the game, right? Um, so I think that was me, and he wanted to be a little bit more aggressive with his decision making. When Aaron's aggressive, and he's aggressive, and, you know, Sorrell's aggressive. Guys are more aggressive, more better team. So uh, he's been working really hard on his shot. He's been doing it for about two years. Um, the guys have been working really hard this week. Uh, with, with Thanksgiving, you know, not as much school. Wednesday was off. They got some extra shooting in yesterday. Got some extra shooting in. Uh, they showed. So um, I trust Eric. Obviously, I mean, I moved Anthony off the ball. I trust Eric. I want Anthony to have the ball, you know, sometimes, especially on the break. Um, but it was terrific. It's good to see him make shots and and do well. The only thing I'm disappointed is our turnovers again, which is turning the ball over too much. And we can look like a really good team one minute. And we can look like five freshmen. Right Top eight the next minute. So. Coach, 27% uh, from beyond three before this game tonight lights out. Was it because of uh, Cowan driving, or uh, was that just a, a focus to make sure that the outside game was clean? Well, we wanted to play inside out. That was kind of our philosophy with these guys, whether it was the pass or the drive. They did a nice job doubling Bruno, double a different way than we've seen. Uh, and the game was out of, you know, so we didn't really try to adjust to it. Um, but, uh, no, we, we got good shooters. The guys are just getting more comfortable. I don't know, I, what, what, we, what did we shoot from three? Can you see it? Nine for 16. Nine for 16. So we, took, we didn't take a lot of them. We took good ones. Um, it's nice to make them. So um, we work at it, and they have good shooters, so it's good to see. But I, I like that we play defense for about 35 minutes tonight. Yeah, Coach, uh, two things. Sorrell Smith, you have to be, I would assume you're very satisfied with his yeah. growth. A few games ago, you mentioned you got to get more minutes. And also, Bruno seemed to take a wave at you when he was that jumper. Was yeah. I seeing that? Or? Yeah, well, I told him to shoot it. But first of all, Sorrell, um, 
Sorrell gets more and more comfortable. And Sorrell would have played more if he didn't get in foul trouble. He picked up two, and I took him out. He was playing well, and he picked up his third uh, there in the second half. And um, I don't know what he ended up minute-wise. Uh, but he, he is getting more comfortable. We had him on Elmore, too. I mean, that's, that's pretty a lot of confidence saying, all right, you can guard this kid. Uh, and, and Bruno wants to shoot all jump shots. You know, that's just, you know, it's just the way it is. Big guys want to shoot jump shots. Little guys want to post up. Uh, but he's been so efficient. Uh, but he was open. They weren't guarding him. They didn't respect him. He's worked hard at, at that shot. Uh, I'm glad he made it. It's good to see. Do you feel like with Bruno and having a nice day at this show, the potential of this team, and how close are you to feeling like a, a full 40 minutes? Well, we're getting better. I mean, come on. But we got to be realistic here. We're playing five young guys in our top eight, so it's. Um, we got we got to be realistic. It was good to play well. It's great for us because it gives us confidence. Um, um, but uh, we're getting better. That's really what matters. I don't know how good we are. We're going to find out next week. Uh, in the next two weeks, we'll find out how good we really are. But um, we're getting better, and that's what I can see. So I'm pleased with that. And you mentioned that we're going to go get. You know, we'll find out in the next two weeks. Yeah, Virginia next week. How what can you take from this game? You need to well, we'll just be more confident. We'll be more confident. You know, I want to enjoy tonight. You know, we'll have plenty of time to talk about them. This game will get a lot of hoopla. We'll get, of course, our top five team. Tony's one of the best coaches in the country. And they got four starters back off the number one seed in the whole overall tournament. So, how we got Virginia in this challenge, I don't really know. Because um, we were probably picked 10th or whatever we were, but we got them. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see where we are. But uh, it should give us confidence because we've gotten better every game. Mark, in the context of holiday week, kind of a probably a choppy practice schedule or whatever, and a young team, how happy are you that they came out and took a team like Marshall as seriously as they did? Well, there was a little, you know, there's probably some Romans going around that we were going to lose tonight, right? And so our guys, didn't, they, they, didn't, they didn't like that. Um, so, you know, Marshall won a game last year in the tournament, we weren't in it. Uh, we're a whole new team. So, I, I was really proud of them in the last game, you know, and I know the game, the score didn't end up away, but we really came out with energy. Uh, we brought our own energy that night and played well, so they showed me something that night. Tonight I can tell they were focused because Marshall's a good team and they're a great program. And um, averaging 94 a game, going to 67, and played everybody. So um, our guys were dialed in, but it's, I keep telling you they're a fun group to coach and, and, and they listen and they're trying to get better. So we are getting better, but and I think there's tremendous growth still in this team. Last one, Pat. Uh, you guys had a plus 22 rebound margin tonight. Uh, Marshall's by you know, no means the smallest team you've played all year. But did you guys expect to have that sort of advantage on the boards? And how much you guys have everything else when you guys have that big of an advantage? On the yeah. So you know they they've been out rebounded in their games so far. We played pretty much the same teams, and we were plus 12 or 13 in those games. So it was a big emphasis for us, especially on the offensive end, uh, trying to get offensive rebounds, um, and, and it showed that Bruno just gets every defensive rebound. So um, yeah, it was a big part of what we did. So plus 20, I didn't see it, but plus 22, that's that's great. That's great. Thanks. Yeah.